Fazbear Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, Freddy Fazbear. Hello, everybody. You ready to have a good time? I know I am. Cause it's Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. For kids, it's number one. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Where fantasy meets fun. Fun not actually guaranteed. Well, let's meet the band. My name is Freddy, I'm the singer in the band. Got a hat and a big bow tie. Well, I'm a big brown bear, but don't be scared. I'm a real fun-loving guy. Bonnie's my name, I'm hopping along with floppy ears and a cotton tail. My guitar is blazing, this rabbit's hair raising. Just listen to me wail. Take it, Bonnie! <laughs> Get your pizza by the pound Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Where all the kids are safe and sound Fazbear Entertainment offers absolutely no guarantees regarding guest safety Hey, I'm Chica, the lady of the group My singing is a treat So sweet But keep an eye on your pizza Cause I'm a bird who likes to eat Nom, 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 nom Finally, this foxy one eye and a hook for a hand He hangs out over in Pirate's Cove Now you've met all the members of the band <laughs> Freddy Fazbear's Pizza The fun just can't be beat Freddy Fazbear's Pizza It's time for us to for the next hour, add meat to any kid's pizza for just a dollar. And if your parents really love you, they'll buy you a 32-ounce pretty fountain drink. And don't forget, all the popular kids sign up for our mailing list and get free stuff on their birthday. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where fantasy meets fun. Freddy Fazbear, Freddy Fazbear, Freddy Fazbear Pizza. Freddy Fazbear, Freddy Fazbear, Freddy Fazbear Pizza. for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll do fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were a 
forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years, and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and you need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. yeah it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, Was concerning the your safety, seven? the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without a skeleton. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcibly pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth when they pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first station of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Got to conserve power. All right. Good night. Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck are you doing in my house?
Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck are you doing in my house?